just the legend of Nestor. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I just felt, you know, I I knew physically, I felt like he was good. You know, after you know, had we played last night, he would have played a important role for us. I feel like last night's game, you know, in, in a shorter stint, maybe three, six outs, whatever it may have been. And I know he felt good yesterday. So and I knew he wanted the ball. And I just felt like, you know, once we got rained out last night, I felt like I felt convicted that, you know, Nestor was who I wanted to go with. Um, and, and, you know, that sets us up with, with, with JMO you know, full full bore in game one when obviously we've had to use a lot of pitching. He's just got that it thing about him. He's, I think, combines competition with having f fun and that right balance. He's always been that way. And uh, so whatever the result he gave us out there, and, and obviously he did terrific and gave us more than I probably would have hoped for, um, I'm not surprised. Marinaccio, Montas, and or LeMayu, any of them available for you in this series? Um, potentially, yeah. Potentially a couple of those. Can you say who? Uh, not yet. Um, we got to have those conversations. That'll be plain conversations that will kind of finalize that stuff. DJ, Montas, and Marinaccio, are any of them ruled out because they physically can't do it? Um, none ruled out yet, no. Do you have any expectation that Ben Attendi could be on the roster? I don't think so. What is the challenge in pivoting a couple of hours from now toward uh, facing them? Well, I mean, the challenge is we're facing a great team. You know, uh, as far as the quick turnaround, we'll be fine. I mean, that's that's baseball. We do that all the time. You know, we'll walk in there with some confidence. Um, we we know we know they're a great team and rested and ready and. Uh, we look forward to the challenge.